there's about three to four different ways of approaching everything in in any tool for that matter if you quickly have a look here under the the um the ui we have a modeling drop down menu we have a rigging animation vfx uh, rendering and so on and so forth so each of these panels or drop down menus um if you choose let's say rigging you'll see that my top set of menu names actually change according to whichever module I'm actually going to use so in this case I want to make sure that I am on modeling I think by default it is set to modeling so you don't have to, to be too concerned if it's not just quickly switch it back to modeling from there we're going to now have all the tools at our disposal to essentially manipulate the surface the polygon surface so whether it's edit mesh or mesh tools or mesh display just mesh those four are the primary um, drop-down menus with, with all the tools that we can essentially utilize to manipulate that surface with right so anything and everything you can actually find through the menus another way to approach that is if I'm on the polygons um, tab you've got your primitives and to the right of it after this division line these are the most commonly used tools so if we look closely, do you see this one that looks like an extended face going up? That's our extrude tool. If we go um, to the one to the left, that's essentially our multi-cut. If we go all the way to the, the right hand side, this one is our bevel tool. And then the one in the middle is our bridge tool. Those four are nicely compact close together already for us so you can use the buttons to access that or you can go to mesh tools and essentially have access to multi-cuts um, just looking for extrude I think that is in the old edit mesh menu yes extrude bridge and bevel okay I think even the multi-cut might be in here Let's just have a look no so the multi-cut is the only one that you have to go to the mesh tools drop down menu the other ones you can find under the edit mesh um, tool menu so that's w another way to approach that um, you could also use some of the marking menus something that we haven't really talked about so a marking menu is essentially a right click or um, a control right click or a shift right click command menu that pops up um, when you hover over a surface for instance within each of these let's say for instance I go into edge mode and I select any of these components um, on our object we then have access to the modeling tools as we've mentioned before through a control hold down right click menu so hold down control hold down right click and you'll see that we have access to convert the selected type to a different like for instance edge loop and so on but more specifically let's talk about the actual extrude multi-cut bevel and bridge tools so that is used through the shift right click menu so if I hold down shift and I hit the right click menu you will see the multi-cut is towards our left we also have extrude we also have bridge and then we have the bevel now to, to be very clear about this, you have to make sure that your mouse is actually on the object that you're trying to manipulate because of Maya's context sensitivity. So when we right click here, we're going to get a different set of, of tools. If I do a shift right click, you'll see suddenly it changes to, you know, creating one of these primitives like you know, polygon plane, cube, sphere, as if we choose it from this menu up here at the top inside of the old tab so if we do that directly on the surface let's say we go into face mode and I select one of the components if I do a shift right click over there we're going to get exactly the menu that is specific to the component type and that makes the conveniency of modeling a lot more um, you know free flow and uh, you know it, it kind of moves you forward in the workflow just because Maya already knows what you want to do next so though that's basically the three different ways of accessing the tools 